Berkshire Hathaway agreeing to buy Allegheny. It's its biggest acquisition since its 2016 buy of Precision Cast Parts. Remember that? For $37 billion. This deal, $11.6 billion in cash, about $848 a share, which is a 29% premium to Allegheny's average price over the past 30 days. Allegheny, by the way, is an insurance company. And of course, Berkshire has a deep bench in insurance. That is one of its main lines of business. It even before this acquisition got about a quarter, gets about a quarter of its revenue from insurance. So this looks to increase that. It also reunites Warren Buffett with the CEO of Allegheny is a man named Joe Brandon, who was the CEO at General Re, which is owned by Berkshire. So a little bit of a homecoming there, I guess you could say, Saz. And we've got that. We've got more deals this morning also. A little bit of bromance. I'll quickly mention uh, on this deal, uh, uh, Allegheny, Julie, uh, twelve billion dollars in sales this year. One point last year, one point one billion dollars in net earnings. Really, just a huge, huge deal for uh, Warren Buffett. And then the other deal, to your point, was Anaplan. You had Tama Bravo here, which is a noted software investment firm, stepping up here, paying ten point seven billion dollars for Anaplan, which is a, essentially a software uh, planning uh, type of outfit here. And this comes, you can see that chart on the screen from Jeffries. Uh, that we're showing here. This comes amid a, a broader pullback in software stocks for the beginning of the year. As that bubble has come out of the space, you're likely to see, I'm sure, a lot of bids on similar companies to Anaplan after this transaction, really under the potential or, or under the view, perhaps we have hit some short-term bottom here. 